It is 946 on this Saturday morning. It is time for Imagine It. Carl Nelson's here from the Imagination Station, and you decided to bring a little color into our morning show today. Yeah. It's that time of year when you start seeing these little guys popping up everywhere, right? I love these little guys. Sugar, moisture, and tiny pockets of air. Right. So we're going to do some experiments with those tiny pockets of air. And that's what makes them so fluffy. Exactly. Okay. Fluffy and light. Um, so you can think about, I mean, inside a general peep, there's probably millions of tiny little air pockets. Really? And so okay. we're not going to work with the peeps quite yet. We're going to hold off on that. All but right. So a balloon is kind of like kind of like one of those tiny little air pockets. Okay. And what we're going to do with the peeps eventually is we're going to put them inside this chamber, take the air out. Oh, okay. All right, so, so let's see what happens to a single air pocket if All you right. do that. So, so this is simulating what would be one single air pocket of all the many that you're talking exactly. about inside of here. Exactly. Okay. So we turn the air pump on and you can see the balloon will immediately start to get bigger and bigger and bigger. All right. So as we reduce the air pressure inside the jar, mm -hmm. the air molecules inside the balloon are still slamming against the balloon, causing it to inflate. Okay. Okay. And so it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And at some point at here... At some point we're going to pop. I'm no, nervous. no, no. It's, it's not going to pop. I don't okay. think. I don't think. I think the balloon is small enough that it's going to expand and it's pretty much going to fill nearly the entire jar. Wow. Now the fun part here is when you let the air back in. Oh! Or if it pops. Hey, that that is cool. All that right. is nice. All right. So we're going to see if that's going to happen to the peeps themselves. Oh, All right. You're going to explode my beloved peeps? <laughs> well... Sad. Oh, that's fun. See, that's the fun part. <laughs> right. But we got a double whammy because the balloon actually popped there, nice. so that was kind of cool. All right. So we're going to take our peeps. We're going to throw them in there. Okay. Get rid of our balloon. Oh, and man. let's add a few more on top. It's just like a for peep fun. family in it here. It is. It's a, I don't know what you call a flock of peeps. Is that a maybe? flock of peeps? I don't know. I don't know what they're called. Okay. So we got the peeps in there. Let's turn the pump on. Okay. Start to remove the air. And again, Whoa. if you watch the peeps closely, you can see... Oh, they're starting to burst almost. They're starting to get bigger. They're, yeah. they're starting to crack a little bit. Right. And kind of the neat thing here... Oh, they're getting really nice and big. That yeah, works really are. well. Um, kind of the neat thing here is that the elasticity of the peep is going to let it get bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh, man. And at some point, though, they're going to start to get a little bit smaller. Oh, oh I'm seeing it happening. They're because, starting to shrink back down. Yeah, we've removed some of the air from inside. And, of course, now... The fun part, of course, is always removing or letting the air back in. So here we go. Oh. And, oh. of course, the peeps even then get a little deflated, right? Oh, look it. As you would if you were put inside that chamber as well. Uh -uh. <laughs> Poor peeps. So, oh, they're not fluffy anymore. They're not. Because we've sort of ripped all those little air pockets, mm -hmm. removed the air, and then the sugary gooness can sort of collapse back and down on those. they're kind of cold. They're a little bit cold, too. Yeah. 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 Huh. So... The peeps themselves, because they're sort of stretchy, right? They um they can only get so big. Okay. So. But they got pretty big. They I did. Mean. They did. That worked really well. Yeah. They got pretty big. So something that would not have that elasticity of the sugary stuff uh -huh. would be shaving cream. Okay. So again, millions of tiny little air pockets inside this little thing of shaving cream. Right. Because when you first squirt it out of the can, I mean, it's all compressed in the can, and then exactly, it's, it's got all that, you know. Right. It's got that sound. It's putting air pockets in there. Okay. Let's see what happens to the shaving cream. All right. Same idea. We got tiny little air pockets inside there. We, we reduce the air pressure on the outside. Pressure on the inside is bigger. Looks like a soft serve ice cream cone. It does. It kind of looks like an ice cream, <laughs> but it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And because this doesn't have the stretchiness of the sugar mm -hmm. with the peep, oh. when we let the air back inside, okay. this is my favorite part. It's kind of cool. And I don't know how much time we have to let it get big. You tell me. We have a few more seconds. Mm -hmm. All right. We can let it grow a little bit here. It's getting pretty big. It is much more dramatic. And again, it's just shaving cream, but there are so many tiny little air pockets. They're all expanding. Sure. Sort of stretching the cream, making it bigger and bigger and bigger. And let's go ahead and let the air back inside all right. dramatically, really quickly. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Wow. Woo. Wow. And of course. And then, you know. That's what shaving cream really is. What would a morning be without Carl Nelson making a mess in the studio, right? <laughs> oh, that's right. wonderful. So awesome. if the peeps didn't have the sugar, they would end up doing that. But Well, there you go. Very visual. <laughs> Carl, I like that. And if you want to go check out any more of Carl's uh, segments down at the Imagination Station, don't worry. They are open today from 10 to 5 downtown. Thanks so much for coming in, Carl. Sure. 9.50. Let's go over and check in with Dave. He's got sports.